God bless you. Welcome to the greatest jurisdiction on this earth, yes. none other than the Virginia First Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Amen. We welcome you to our holy convocation tonight. It's been a phenomenal week thus far, and we're going higher and higher each night. Listen, I want to let you know that you're in the right place at the right time yes, to receive a word and a blessing from the Lord. Uh, I'm Elder Frederick Edmonds, and this is my beautiful wife, Missionary Paige Edmonds, and we want to welcome you welcome. tonight to join us as we go higher and higher in the Lord. Yes, and last night, my Lord, did he meet us here. We had a phenomenal service with the wonderful Pastor Martin coming here and just delivering a word from on high. He talked about favor, and we know that God has graced us, each one of us, with his favor. And I don't know about you, but if you watched it, go ahead and type in the comments, I got favor, because I, I know favor. I got favor. Praise God. God on tonight. And then this morning, this afternoon, none other than our first lady, the anointed, the beautiful, the fashionable, the down to earth. Did I say anointed? Anointed woman of God came forth with a word that we must. It is not an option. It is not a discussion nor a debate, but we must move forward. Yeah. And I thank God for that word from our first lady on today. And what a word it was. Listen, we been having a phenomenal service all week long and I'm telling you that it's only going to get better from here tonight oh, yes. tonight 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 on the screen tonight. we have none other than the Apostle Herman Murray with yes. us tonight listen you do not want to miss this I want you to like and share, share it. this video oh, yes. share it with your friends share it with your families because I promise you it's going to be a phenomenal night full of glory everybody say glory glory Hallelujah. Yes. Apostle Herman Mary is going to share the word with us tonight. Yes. And it's going to be phenomenal words straight from God's mouth to our ears. Amen. And tomorrow night. Tomorrow. We're going to hear from none other than the Bishop Linwood Dillard. Yes. Listen, it's going to be a powerful night. Uh, we all know uh, Bishop Dillard. He's a phenomenal speaker. Oh, my Great God. man of God. And we're looking forward uh, to his ministry on tomorrow night. And then Saturday, you don't want to miss it. It's our ordination service. Yes. And we're going to hear from none other than the Bishop Tony H. Campbell, Amen. our own Bishop Campbell. It's going to be a phenomenal service. We're going to have our uh, candidates for ordination. Yes. And we're looking forward uh, to just going higher each night. Praise God. Amen. And uh, tonight we have some special guests yes, with us. Yes, we do. We're excited. Uh, none other than the Brother Freddie and aspiring missionary Tarita Barron. Amen. Listen, they have a powerful ministry. My God. And uh, we're going to hear a little bit about some of the things that they have going on uh, in their personal ministries uh, right now. Amen. Amen. And I just want to start off with just welcoming you guys. Thank you guys so much for being with us tonight. Yeah. You guys look so wonderful in your reds, looking gorgeous, as amazing as always. So I want to start off. How long have you guys been married? for seven years now. Beautiful. Yes, oh, beautiful. it's been a beautiful journey. Um, definitely all the ups and the downs. God has been with us all. Amen, amen, amen. And from that beautiful marriage of seven years, not only do you have children, but God has birthed out such a beautiful ministry in you guys' lives. Can you tell me what you guys do collectively in marriage and your ministry together? Oh, absolutely. So collectively, God has been very good to the Barrett family. Mr. and Mrs. Barry, we have been able to write a book called Couples for Christ Daily Devotional. And this book right here will bless you, whether you're married or whether you're not married, or whether you're looking to be married. Yeah. It will bless you. This book will not only strengthen your marriage, but will strengthen your relationship with the Lord. Also, collectively, we came together and we wrote a single called The Love Chapter. Wow, that's which is beautiful. available now in all. amazing to hear all the wonderful things you guys are doing as a couple. Let me ask you this. If you could tell a married couple one word that they need for their marriage to be successful, what would that one word be? For me, it would be prayer. Mm. Not only praying alone, but praying together yeah. for your union. God will bless you if you make prayer the center of your marriage. Yeah. Prayer is a spiritual thing. And yes. I think people spend more time in that. But spiritually, you're grown, and it will bless you physically, emotionally, 
emotionally and mentally. Wow, also. wonderful. What about you, sister? What word would you give? I would definitely say patience. Mm, patience is much needed in a marriage, especially when you have children, you're busy, you have full-time jobs, or maybe one spouse is staying at home or what have you. But through it all, you need patience. Yeah. Amen. That's beautiful. Well, thank you so much for sharing what you guys do together. Now, I would love to hear what you guys have going on individually. Sister, would you like to start with us tonight? Sure. I'll go ahead and start with my first book, which was truly a prophetic blessing to all who had hands on it. It's called How Much I Love You, written by yours truly. And I'm just so excited. It just simply is about a, a small journey of a little boy who has a dream. His name is Prince, and he uh, goes on different places and journeys, and his mother um, is there with him, and he's always asking, um, how much do you love me, and will you be there if I go to the highest of mountains wow. and to the deepest of the ocean? Yeah. And she said, no matter where you go, I will be with you, and it reminded me of um, John 3.16, yes. and that was what inspired me to write this book. Beautiful. And then my second book was Think Before You Stink. Okay. And so um, this, I, I know if you look at the covers of these books, they look like my children. <laughs> and so they too inspired me to write these books. And so what, Think Before You Stink is just simply a book about a little girl who has a smaller brother and she has to demonstrate patience mm -hmm. with him. And so she has to think before she stink. And that's like with us. We have to think before we do something. Something or, or, or will disobey God. Yes. So always think before you stink. Amen. Amen. And then my um, third uh, publish is The Farmer's Family. Mm -hmm. And this one is simply an interactive book for families. And it simply just talks about uh, how we are the seed and it goes through the whole process of a plant mm -hmm. and how you need God uh, to be in the center of it all if you want to grow with grace. Wow. wow. Since that is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Wife to wife, I don't know how you find time, my God, today yes. Yes. to be a mother, yes. to be a wife, yes, to work, mm -hmm. to be in the military, Come on. to keep a happy husband because he's looking happy. He, he's excited yeah. to be next to you. He <laughs> you tonight. Praise God. <laughs> I mean, Lord bless you, sis. Thank that you. is phenomenal. You're such an encouragement to me yes. as a mother of all the things that I want to be able to accomplish, yes. to know that it is possible. Yes, ma'am. It is possible it is. to still make your dreams come mm -hmm. true as a wife, as a person, yes. and still have those other things, yes. such as being a wife and a mom Absolutely. and everything else. You can right. still fulfill your God-given assignment Absolutely. outside of those yes. other things. So thank you so much for sharing that with me. Thank you. I mean, did you want to ask her husband about what he's doing? Sure. What a phenomenal ministry your wife has. Yes. But we know beside every phenomenal woman, there's a great man. Come on. Because <laughs> you Thank great, baby. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Glory. So we thank God for your wife, but we want to hear some, about some of the things that you have going on in your personal ministry as well. So if you can share with us what you have going on. Absolutely. I'll be very brief on it. Um, but I am the founder and CEO of FB Enterprises, where we are living to pursue excellence, dedicated to inspire others, and determined to make a positive impact in every life we are able to touch. Yeah. We do this through music, we do this through books, we do this through offering life coaching services to help somebody spiritually grow. And so through books, we have God is Never Unavailable, which is a prayer devotion. We have Living a Life That Pleases God, which is another book that will bless your spirit. We have children's books, My Dad is the Best, because I thought that a book needed to be out there for dads to be inspired yes. in their children's life. Read to their children. That relationship from a father to a children is so very important. And sometimes people take that like we don't get that many uh, moms on Father's Day, like my mother's day. There's nothing wrong with that. But I wrote this book for the father and the children to have that relationship. And then last but not least, we have the Bible ABC, which is a children's book. It goes through the alphabet, all related to the Bible. And it will bless you and bless your children. And then musically, I have my own solo project which is called Freddie Mary Senior, a worship experience. It has 10 tracks on it. It's available on all digital musical stores. God has been very good to us. Amen. I thank God for just that opportunity. My wife preached last night. She's woke. Yes. Yes, she did. Use 
by a perfect God. Yes. And that's all we are, individually and collectively. Yeah. We are willing vessels of being used by a perfect God. Yes. And my wife didn't speak about this individually, so I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to pass it back to Come her. Come on, plug but it she in. she has her own she does. Yes. And I hope that she'll share with you all. Please share with us this. All right. So uh, my nonprofit is called All For One and One For All Incorporated, where we seek to be the bridge between the community and equitable education for all children and youth. And simply, we offer a scholarship biannually at this time, and we're looking to do some more mentoring and tutoring services in the future. We're looking for God to bless us with a building. Amen. So we're believing God for the unbelievable, yes. for the unexpected. Um, I, I know my Bible says that he can do exceedingly and abundantly That's what it says. above all that Come we could even sister. think or ask yes. according to his riches and glory in yes. Christ Jesus. So if he can do that, that, that means he can bless our businesses. He can bless our ministries. He can bless our marriages and our relationships. And so I look forward uh, to God just doing a miraculous thing. Listen, um, I don't mean to take over, but take over, sister. go ahead and reel it back go if you need to. But I thank God for the back to school drive yes. event that's coming on next Saturday, August 27th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's going to be located at London Bridge, 2388 London Bridge Road, and that's at the Hunt Clubhouse Farmhouse facility. So I look forward to seeing all the children and the parents come out. We're going to have some activities. We're going to have backpacks and supplies. I look forward to seeing you there. That awesome. is beautiful. Awesome. I mean, come on now. Look at this couple. Power couple. How, this is a definition a of a power yes. couple. And we thank God yes. for what they're doing and yes. what God is doing in their lives. Praise I have God. just another question for you guys. Can you teach us the art of balance? What do you do to stay balanced with everything you have going on? The businesses, the nonprofits, the children, the marriage, individually, keeping your own sanity, you know, keeping each other satisfied, keeping your relationship with Christ, because sometimes we can get so consumed with getting busy that we forget about being effective. So how do you guys maintain that balance in life and also the relationship with Christ? Can you break that down for us a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> with our organization, we have three words that start with the letter B. Determined, driven, and dedicated. And you have to do that in order to balance everything out. But you have to be determined to make things work. Yeah. You be determined to balance out your marriage life, work life, you got to be able to shake some things off. And then always give quality attention. My pastor used to say, catch it. Quality time with the Lord. Yeah. That makes a difference. Yeah. That makes everything else seem all right. Even when yeah. my feel shaking, that makes everything else seem all right. He summed it all up, but I will say one word, routine. Mm. Getting in a routine will keep you balanced because you'll know this is what is expected at this time. Everybody get there and get there now. Yeah. And if you're not there, you're out of order. So we got to get in a routine. Yes. And God will do the rest. Come yeah. on, get in line, get a routine. <laughs> yeah. Get in place or you're out. Huh? Yeah. That's the word for the day. Type that in the comments for me. Yes, sir. Yeah, they say 21 days creates a habit. That's Come what on. They say. So if you do something enough, yes. it'll become a habit. That's it. Something that you can't stop doing. That's right. So yes, I sir. Think, you know, as long as we carry that routine and create a habit of it, then it'll be easy after a while. Yes. Amen. Amen. I heard you mention your pastor. If you can tell us, you guys can tell us a little bit about your local ministry, your local church, your pastor, and what you guys do on a local, a district, and a jurisdictional level. Uh, in ministry. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Come he on. The greatest leader on this earth. <laughs> the greatest leader on this earth. Pastor Bruce Elliott Hughes at St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. Come on. Six community. Okay. 189 South Bird. Come on, address. <laughs> yes. Every single Sunday, and I promise you, we'll be blessed. Yes. If you don't want to come to the temple, you can watch us online and we go be streaming. Is one of the most humblest men yes, that I have is. ever met in my life. And it is a blessing to serve yes. the man of God. Wonderful. And I'm just going to plug this in since we asked Come on, plug it in. We have this official installation service weekend yes. coming up in September. I believe it's September 25th that yeah. weekend. And it's going to be a blessing. Wonderful. To honor the 
man of God who is well deserved in store as the brand new pastor yes. of the Church of God in Christ. Yes. That's beautiful. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. What do you guys do at your local church? Are you guys part of any ministries there as well? Yes, absolutely. So we are involved in our choir, media, um, EMD wives. Uh, we do pretty much everything. Children's church, um, wherever there is a work to do, we are willing to do it. Um, in our district level, again, serving in the choir, the praise and worship team, um, and other things. What else do you do? Yes. Will and yeah. workers. Will and workers. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Now, sir, I do have to say, I'm so sorry to cut you off, baby. Um, I did hear you say something, and I have to humbly disagree. I was going to put a shameless plug in myself. Come on, let's put the plug I mean, in, honey. Listen, that's why we married, because we don't want a call. Amen. What did it want a call, baby? Amen. Great minds nigga life. Yes, they do, honey bunny. Amen. We got two great minds because we were going to say, with all due respect. All due all respect. respect. We have the greatest passion. We sure do. Come on, talk about it. all the universe. Oh, yes, we do. None, none other than uh -uh. the superintendent, Ronnie C. Edmund Sr. Yes, sir. At the great Bethlehem great. Church of God in Christ in the beautiful mm -hmm. city. Oh, yes. Chesapeake. Virginia. Chesapeake. You happen Come to be on. passing our way. Stop on down. Stop there, on by. Road. Don't drive by. Come on by. Come on by. Huh? You're going to be disappointed. Yes, you will. Amen. Praise God. We got a word <laughs> from the Lord that will bless you and change your life. We yes. are all about family yes. at the good old Bethlehem Church of because God in Christ. Is where it all began. Oh, and you, you can, can begin, begin again. again. Come on, baby. Amen. Yes, I love it. Oh Come God. on. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So let me ask you about the um week have you guys been enjoying the services thus far wow uh, enjoying the services is an understatement but I would say I have been truly blessed I came with an expectation yeah. if you come with an expectation I believe that God will do the rest so definitely been enjoying since last week the prayer revival with Dr. Uh, Barbara Jean Olds Dr. Evangelist Barbara Jean Olds and even up until today and I'm looking forward to going higher yes. and higher yes. in Christ Jesus amen Amen. I have been thoroughly looking forward to this week myself. Yeah. I am excited. I think just to be around the same. Yes. Yeah. For yeah. so long, we have not been able to fellowship. Yeah. And honestly and truly, we I think we took it for granted. Yeah. When we had it, we took it for granted. And we've got to the point where, you know, we have, I don't know about anybody else, but I ain't do no shopping during the pandemic. Okay, see, y'all see all old clothes this week. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> but you ain't seen it in a year, so guess what? It's new to you, huh? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So we just give God praise for this week to be able to be together because the Bible says when two or three are gathered in his name then he will be in the midst yeah. and I think I counted we, we're abiding by CDC but there's more than three of us here yeah. and I thank God for what he's going to do in the midst because yeah. I think the people have their hearts set on what God is going to do Amen. they came willing and prepared to be ready to get what God has them on this week so i'm excited i'm excited i am excited yeah. yeah it's been a great night every single night yes. i mean god has been moving from the very beginning like they said they referenced the prayer services i mean god has just been in our midst and he's been moving mightily amongst the saints and uh we're trying to continue to to blow our minds yes. uh every single night i'm listen listen i'm telling you you do not want to miss Don't. a single night of this convocation i need you to tune in every night because you just might miss your blessing yes. if you miss a night. Yes. Listen, listen, don't miss a don't single Don't miss a night. night. And then I, we, we have to stop right here for just a couple of seconds, okay? We forgot to do something. Listen. And I don't want none of us to get in trouble. Uh-oh. But we did not honor our bishop. Come on. Yes. Our wonderful, amazing lead. bishop. Yes. We thank God yes. for our bishop. They yes. just celebrated him as becoming the pastor of new community. And it was a wonderful weekend that yes, they had. So we will not move forward with this conversation. Huh? And said we honor our bishop. Why? Because he's amazing. Huh? He's anointed. He got an amazing wife. He's a father of four young men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's here there and everywhere. Bishop is so talented, y'all, that he can be up there making sure that everybody's in place in line where they need to be and still looking presidential and bishop be himself. Right. Come on, somebody. He is amazing. Yeah. I love our bishop. Yeah. Bishop, we yeah. love you. There's only one. Mark 
Anthony oh, Parker Sr. Senior, come Listen, on. I don't know about nobody else out there, but we got the greatest leader. The greatest one. And I mean, I'm not ashamed to say it. It ain't for the bait, okay? We love you, though. We love you. Everybody else, we love you. Virginia 2, 3, 4, and Grace, we love you. Y'all got, got, got good leaders. God has blessed you. But we got the best. Leader. We got the best. Yes. Huh? Yes. God saved the best, the best for the historical. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Virginia, you Listen, got a lot of names. The, the first, first, the first. Ecclesiastical first. jurisdiction. And you know why they call us the first? Is that it? We're number one. Number yes. One. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, God. VA1, faith forward. Come on. Yes, faith forward. Come and on. we can't move forward without celebrating and honoring our supervisor. Yes. Amen. She is an amazing woman of God. Amen. And we honor and thank God for her. She is beautiful, y'all. Yes. She talks with her. Full of wisdom. Full of wisdom. Yes. yes. And she pours into the young women. Yes. yes. She doesn't think that we're the generation for tomorrow. Right. The church for tomorrow. We are right. the church of today. today. Yes. And she is pouring into us. So, yes. Mother Towns, we honor you yes. on tonight as well yes. as the best yes. supervisor yes. on God's green earth. Huh? Because we got international, so we can't just say in the United States. Church of God in Christ is international. Amen. So, we just yeah, we, 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 we everywhere. We everywhere. Here, Amen. there, and everywhere. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well, come, guys, I thank you guys so much for being with us tonight. Yeah. It was a pleasure speaking with you all about all the things you have going yes. on. Could you guys just give us like maybe 60 seconds of just, or maybe 30 seconds of words of wisdom that you want to leave for the people? Yeah. Um, you know, for the Lord, I promise you what you do for the Lord is not in vain, and what you do for Christ will last forever. Ever. In a time and beyond. Thank you for this opportunity. Yes, no problem. Praise yeah. God. We thank you all so much for joining us. We want you guys to turn into the service tonight. Yeah. Like we said, we have a beautiful lineup. We have praise and worship going on right now, and we give God praise. Amen. Listen, I'm telling you, once again, we have none other than the Apostle Herman Murray with us. You do not want to miss tonight. Like and share. Like and share. Like and share this video because I promise you that you will be impacted, everyone around you in your circle will be impacted by the powerful word that's coming tonight. Listen, I'm telling you, there is a word just for you yes. tonight at this service. You do not want to miss it. That's right, and the saints are still coming in to get ready for the service, and we give God praise for seeing these wonderful 